Hey everybody, this is Scott Van Dyke. I'm a commercial photographer. Uh, I specialize in interiors, architecture, uh, mainly anything for advertising, uh, interior designers, architects, uh, and loads of magazines. Hey everybody, this is Scott Van Dyke. I'm a commercial photographer. I specialize in interiors and architecture. I shoot everything from advertising to interior designers work to architects and magazines. So today I want to talk to you about hiring a photographer. Uh, I'm specifically talking to people that are interior designers, architects, but you know this could really pertain to anybody who has a photography need and they're looking for a photographer. This is just a little bit of background um, for things that you should know and questions that you should ask and things that are expected and not expected. So hopefully this is a little helpful information for you. So I know this may sound very basic to you, but one of the key factors in hiring a photographer is the work. I know that sounds crazy, but you want to be able to connect with the photographer. You want to be able, to, when I say connect, what I'm suggesting is you want to make sure, you want to pay close attention to the type of lighting that photographer, he or she does, and their composition to that photograph. That's a really important thing. You know, some of you may want something a little more uh, natural lit with a hint of strobe, something like this. And then some of you are going to want something a little more dr drama driven um, on a night shot, something like this. Those are key important factors in knowing how to choose the right photographer for you and your project. So some of you may be asking yourselves, like, well, how do I find this photographer? Uh, if you're looking for an interior photographer, an architectural photographer, fashion, whatever the case may be. Um, one of the first things that I always suggest would be Ask around, ask your colleagues, ask people who have used that type of photography before, ask who they've used, ask who they liked, who they didn't like, who was easy to get along with, who did great work, who exceeded their expectations, who didn't. Uh, that's going to be the golden seal of approval. The second thing I would suggest is go to Google. That's probably a, a, a better way and a faster way to find work that um, you're looking for, what type of photographer. So what I would suggest is type in interior photographer. See what comes up. Um, look at all the websites that are coming up on the first you know, five, six pages. Go to 10, depending on how much time you have. But you're going to get a good sense of type of photography. Um, and if you're looking for a specific area um, with that photographer, just type in the city, for instance. Type in Los Angeles interior photographer, or type in New York interior photographer, or London or Paris interior photographer, um, Hawaii. Any of those are going to come up with a search base engine with the type of photography you're in need of. And then from that place, look around and see what strikes you and, and bookmark the photographers that you like. So now you've got a few photographers that you're interested in hiring, perhaps you've looked at their work and you like it, then what? Well, my first suggestion would be pick up the phone or send an email. Uh, I think the phone's a little more important. You get a little better sense of um, who that person is, that personality, because that's a big important part in clicking. But uh, ultimately you want to start a, a conversation with that person. So once you've been talking to them on the phone, tell them that you want to get a proposal. Um, don't ask for a price for over the phone because there's just too many factors for someone to s throw out a number um, and that could or could scare you away. But one of the things that you want to do for the photographer 
is give them as much information as you possibly can. And that means how big the space is, the rooms, uh, the scope of the project, and really, um, if there's any type of dust shots, that's an important key right there because dust shots, you have uh, one opportunity in the day to get those, and the same thing with the sunrise. So if you have in mind that you want several of those types of dust shots involved from the master bedroom overlooking the city at dusk or shooting back at the house at dusk, whatever the case may be, um, you need to let that photographer know he or she so they can plan accordingly because that would factor in how many days or how they can um, arrange their bidding.